attempts at a ceasefire in order to evacuate civilians appearing to collapse. Russia President Vladimir Putin warned today his country would consider any third party declaration of a no fly zone over Ukraine as participation in the war there. International leaders say Russia's actions are now leading to Europe's worst humanitarian crisis in centuries. Now, how some of our local leaders are responding. Russia's attack on Ukraine continues into a tenth day, with heavy fighting going on for days in Mariupol. According to Ukraine, civilian deaths could have been prevented had NATO enforced a no-fly zone over the targeted country. That was something the international body decided against Friday, as Russia President Vladimir Putin warned any third-party declaration would be considered an engagement in the war. While the U.S. has imposed sanctions against Russia, some local leaders, like Representative Tom Reed, believe more can be done. We're still buying millions, if not billions of uh, dollars worth of oil uh, over the near term from Russia. And that is American dollars that are going to fund uh, this extreme dictator in Putin and his aggressiveness in Ukraine. The United Nations now estimates as many as 4 million people could be displaced in the coming weeks, about 10 percent of the population. Me, I didn't want to change my country, uh, country uh, to leave my country because uh, we have a happy family, happy life. And now our family is separated and and also I hope that everything will be okay, but I don't know. Friday, Congressman Joseph Morelli issued a statement regarding the crisis, saying in part, quote, the U.S. has committed $350 million in additional security assistance and $54 million in humanitarian assistance, end quote. And Morelli added in his statement he is keeping the large Ukrainian community here in Rochester updated on any developments. And there are a number of local agencies accepting donations. A list can be found on our website, rochesterfirst.com.